He's really an amazing little boy. He surprised us all. He loves watching hockey. He plays sports. He's caring. Mateo is a great kid. He's changed our lives. I knew it was going to get emotional. At birth, Mateo failed the hearing screening test. That's kind of where our journey began. The audiologist said, before you go, we have a developmental pediatrician that we'd like you to see. And the second she saw Mateo, she knew something was wrong. So that day he had his head scan and he was diagnosed with hydrocephalus, which is too much water in the brain. It was so bad, he required emergency surgery. That same day, the hospital called in the geneticist. So he came down to see Mateo's facial features. And he knew that day that Mateo had MPS. At seven months, Mateo was diagnosed with uh, MPS-1. After that, my life is a blur. <laughs> constant surgeries, constant treatments. We were at the hospital, I would say, three times a week. And I let go of my job and became a uh, stay-at-home mom slash primary caretaker for Mateo. One of the hardest things uh, I've had to do. Through the years, we were able to meet other families and other children with MPS-1, whom we realize are not as well off as Mateo because they were diagnosed uh, later in life. Some of them have cognitively regressed, they're hearing impaired. A lot of them are in wheelchairs. He has defied all odds. He's actually graduating elementary school. He plays soccer on a league. Anything that a typical 11-year-old would do, he thinks he can do, that's for sure. And, and most of them he can. This is the first year, 2014, and then 2015 is this trophy, and then this is 2016, 2017, so I'm playing for one, two, three, five years. He has a full-time attendant to help him with the physical aspects of school, so you know, setting up his adapted equipment, his computer, he needs extra support. He's really resilient. MPS-1 is a progressive disease, so early diagnosis is extremely important. Mateo was diagnosed at seven months, which I think is great in perspective to most families. And I always wonder what would happen if Mateo was diagnosed at one month. You know, would we have avoided some of those surgeries? Would he maybe not have some of those challenges that he has today? Adding MPS-1 to newborn screenings in Canada is crucial. It would mean earlier intervention for these children and a better outcome.